Yeah, you're all starting with my ugly mug today. Hold on one second. There's a reason why I have to do this this way today, exceptionally. Because otherwise it's just gonna be a silent video because I'm not playing this video with music because there's another way for um, the tech lords, the tech lord overlords to screw with content creators. And that is to claim videos, entire streams, because of incidental music that might be copyright protected, notwithstanding all fair use, all newsworthy, whatever. We're gonna play this video and I'm gonna like just do the so we can hear, um, see the prime minister of Finland dancing up. And my take on this might not be the take that a lot of other people out there have. So let's just, let's just get going here. I'll, I'll do voiceover of what I think is going on. <laughs> We're all having fun dancing and potting. <laughs> Rome is burning, but we play fiddles and drink. <laughs> Clip, later on in the party, I'm dancing. I have no problem with the prime minister of any country parting hardy. People are entitled to have fun. They're entitled to dance like it's 1999 or Y2K. Um, they're entitled to dance and they're entitled to party. This is rubbing people the wrong way. Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Uh, this is rubbing people the wrong way because on the one hand, it doesn't exactly make the leader of a country look good to some. I have no problem with the image of this. I have a problem with someone partying while they lock down a country and, you know, insist that the plebs not benefit from such freedoms or that they go partying all night long. Let me pull up the article here. They go partying all night long. Don't take their cell phones on them. Don't get notified that they have come in contact with someone who tested positive. Go out and mingle with the world. Santa Marin, Finland's PM, sorry for clubbing after COVID contact. I think it might have been worse that she went out and said that she didn't know that she had come in contact because she'd never phoned. Santa Marin went out, uh, went on a night out in Helsinki on Saturday, hours after her foreign minister had tested positive. That's not a big deal for them. She was initially told she did not need to isolate because she had been fully vaccinated. Hmm. I don't think that's actually true, but later missed a text that advised her to do so. Critics questioned her judgment for not isolating until testing negative. Because even if you could, in theory, go clubbing because you're vaxxed and therefore have special privileges, uh, notwithstanding all science and indications to the contrary, she didn't think it was in her good judgments to not go clubbing after her foreign min minister tested positive. Um, yeah, so I, it's, it's more not the image itself, you know, like when, when that video of AOC on a rooftop dancing and lip syncing was going around and it was like, oh, it's so unprofessional. And that I think could qualify as pearl clutching. I thought, saw nothing wrong with the video itself. People are entitled to be lackadaisical, uh, whimsical. I don't mean lackadaisical, whimsical. They're entitled to have fun. It's not because you're a politician that you're not allowed, I don't know, you know, drone bass fishing. But when you're out clubbing, after knowingly having come in contact with someone who tested positive, science be damned, science be damned. Uh, and when you're locking down your country and your people, telling them to stay home, shut your businesses down, your lives are over, forget you, but I gotta go clubbing. But first, let me take a selfie. That's where the issue comes into play. <laughs> 